Okay, uh, my name is Angus Bajan uh, from Steinberg. I'm here to take you through some of the features of our new program, uh, SQL, which is a music creation and performance tool, uh, which we're very proud to present here at Music Messe. Um, basically, this program is so incredibly easy to use and so incredibly intuitive, you'll be producing great songs within just a couple of minutes. Um, we'll just start here um, with what you normally start with when you're making any kind of music, which is drums and percussion. Um, so we're starting up here with, with beats. And you can see straight away here the uh, uh, 5,000 loops are already organized uh, here with categories and styles. So basically you just uh, start off uh, with your category, that's drums or uh, strings or accordion, whatever you want, and you navigate through here and then just click on the drum loop to audition it. And just start straight away. Now obviously it would take me a long, long time to show you a lot of this stuff. But we're just going to take some of these uh, drum loops and just drag them right into the arrangement in here. There you go. Got my drum loop in here. Now you'll see that the tempo is automatically uh, started. Um, okay, uh, the tempo is automatically matched uh, the beat. So the project tempo is already on that beat, ready to go. So now I want, you know, I'm gonna. Ah. Ah. So now we're gonna go and get a bass. Pick one up here from over here. 80 synth bomb. Yeah, cool. Nice one. I'm gonna loop this section here. Now you'll notice that uh, here the tempo of the original synth bomb uh, bass line 129, but uh, it's already matched to uh, the tempo of your drum beat. So you can step through these uh, bass lines and they're all automatically in the right tempo. Nothing easier than that. And when you find one, all you have to do is just drag it into the, uh, into the arrangement. And it's automatically automatically in the right um, in the right tempo. Now you'll see here we've set the key of this uh, bass line is in B. So now the project said okay we're going to use this as the project automatically set this the, the key for the project. So now every time I add something to this like a piano or any of the other instruments it's already automatically going to be in the right key. So we look for some piano And although the original key in here is C, it's already automatically in the right uh, in the right key. So we're just gonna we're just gonna drag that in here. The cool thing is, so I'm just gonna loop this section. You can see here how I'm I have different things available to me. For example, here I'm gonna be able to cut loops, and here I can open and shorten or lengthen. Uh, the individual events without having to use any other key. All I'm doing is just moving the mouse around this event and it's already showing me facilities that I can use. For example here, if I pick up this little triangle and move it to the right, that's me double that part. So now let's just take this and now it's going to play this whole section and every time I want to, for example, duplicate it, I just pick up this wee triangle here as many times as I want. Okay, so this is basically we can add as many um, instruments um, as we want here. Obviously, we've got over 600 playable instruments. We've got 5,000 loops, um, and you can keep going on, um, adding your own uh, elements as you continue. And one thing we're going to have a look at right here is. Of course, you might want to change some of the some of this stuff. You might want to add effects, for example. And what we have here 
is uh, very simple, very easy to use uh, effects for this track. For example, here we've got track effects, VST3 uh, plugins uh, here in SQL, which you might also know from Cubase 4, which you can here insert on the tracks. There's two uh, slots in here, I've got an EQ, uh, global effects, um, which you can apply to all the tracks in your project, and outputs uh, effect as well. You've got two set here, uh, stereo enhancer, uh, maximum, which really fatten up your mix. Um, here's the mixer view. You'll notice all this is happening within this one uh, frame, so it's very easy and quick to navigate. I just flip through here through the different functions, and there's no other uh, windows that open up or anything I have to click away. So uh, that, that's the Media Bay page. That's where we, we find our content. That's where we sh showed you earlier. And here, I've even got, um, uh, I can edit uh, individual notes. Or if that's an audio part, for example, then it automatically switches to an audio editor, um, which I can um, uh, edit my, uh, my audio part in detail, as much detail as I want. 